were in Poland together and have this amazing five days of just pure fun, perfect romance, passion, sex. I think she had all this sexuality built up inside of her and it started coming out and she was using it. You know, we got set. And when we were together in person, <laughs> I mean, the things that happened, I mean, and the she, thunder shook. Yeah. The yeah. Thunder. I mean, the, the, the like Poland that. Shook. it was just like, wow. From my point of view, we were in love and we were going to be sharing our lives together. So that was just the devastating part. That, I had my family involved. I mean, I had my grandkids here on video with her, my daughter, I mean, I evolved. I mean, I, I had everybody was all invested in the relationship. And the hardest part for me is she kept on taking me down this road that we're going to be together. Every conversation was we're going to be together. We're going to do this together. I'm doing it for us. I'm fighting for us. Up until that text message, like even a week, I love you. You're my man. There's no other man for me. You're my beautiful man. What's true? What's not true? You you could say stuff. I can say stuff. She's the only one who really knows. And there's been so many lies probably told that, that maybe there's a truth in the mix. But if the roles were reversed and a guy did that to the woman, it would be horrendous. And that's what I had, I had voice message. It would be the end of the world. The guy's a dick. That he went over there, had sex with the woman, let her down, and then sent her a text message. Eh, sorry. You know, my family's not really happy for it. So goodbye. I got what I wanted. I got sex out of the situation. It was a it was a great five days. Bang the daylights out of you. See you later. You know, if roles were reversed to me up, while she up, was here. Up, up. Hello. Hey, Billy. How are you? How are you doing? All right. So, Billy, I just wanted to. Um, do this in a personal way because I understood you were offended from the live stream. And I think we just, it was short. Um, yeah. It, it turns out I probably shouldn't have dropped that bomb on you live. Uh, I didn't think about it. Sorry. <laughs> you know, didn't that's all right. But the misunderstanding that it uh, will probably would create. So, yeah. So talk to you live and just um, go through yeah. that. Yeah. Or just that. clear the air. Yeah, yeah, clear the air. Um, before I do though, can I ask you how's it going with Oksana? Actually, I texted John. It's it, it's not really going good. Um, she, it was weird because I messaged her the first message because I waited and I got the contact information. And the next day, I sent her a message. I said, "Hello, it's me, Billy. You know, I had it was a great video date. I'm looking forward to." You know, getting to know you better. I enjoyed our conversation. It felt very warm to me. Um, I asked her if fiber was better or WhatsApp. And she wrote, hello, hello, Billy. I'm glad to hear from you. How are you? She was in a class. She's like, I'm in a class now. Are you working now? And I said, I told her what time I start. I asked what kind of class she was taking. She said, it's a psych they make her take a psych psychology course in Georgia, I guess, being a, from Ukraine or whatever. I don't even know what it entails. And I said, I, I said, it sounds this interesting. I said, sounds like an interesting course. Then get a response back after that. Uh, that was on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, she wrote me in the morning because there's like an eight hour time difference, I think, between me and her. Uh, she said, hello, sorry, I finished late yesterday and immediately fell asleep. Even in, slept a little today. I'm going to Tbilisi, to to some must be some city. Yeah. Tbilisi, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. For the weekend, um, I need to get everything done. I said, good morning. Um, yes, I know with the eight hour time difference, um, I figured it was late for you. And then I asked how her day was. I said, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, and then I asked what she would be doing over the weekend, you know, because she was going away. And then she said, Billy, I'll post back in a little a little later. I'm at work right now. So I said, OK, didn't write anything back. And then I didn't hear from her the rest of the day. So then I knew she probably maybe was getting ready to go to sleep. I said, hey, um, I just didn't hear from you. Hope you had a great day. I know you're going away for the weekend. Um, so I hope you have a wonderful, fabulous Friday and a nice weekend. I look forward to hearing from you. She wrote me back Friday, uh, early Friday morning. 
Good morning. My cat went missing. I was upset yesterday. Today I'm leaving for three days. Most likely I'll only be able to get in touch on Sunday evening. So I wish you a wonderful weekend. See you until then. Haven't heard from her since. Um, I was on WhatsApp during that time and I seen her active on WhatsApp all Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like it shows the timestamp when they've been active and stuff. Yeah. I didn't, didn't message her, didn't do anything. And I still haven't messaged her. Um, because she said she would be in touch with me when she came back on Sunday. And now her time, it's probably nine, 10 o'clock, uh, Monday night. So I texted Zana, Jana and said, Hey, I don't know if it's working out with her or not. I said, I don't want to, I'm not trying to read too much into anything, but also I'm I'm not I don't like to be overly aggressive. And so I'm like, like you say, lay lay back with some of the text messages because everything was different with Irene. I can't judge everything by her. I'm trying not to at least. And but I also don't want to go down a path because now the my whole trust thing is is out of whack. So I texted John and said I and then there was one other thing I texted that she has a lot of cats. She has like two or three cats. I'm very allergic to cats. Um, I maybe could handle one, but maybe not two or three. Because when we were on the video call, I saw one cat. And I was like, maybe I could handle one. Then I saw another one that knocked the phone down. She's got them running all over the place. And then the cat was missing. So I don't know how big cats are in her life. So I'm like, well, if she has to come with a bunch of cats, if one day we were going to be together, it would maybe be a deal breaker. And I, So I said, maybe that should be discussed. You know, I wasn't sure. And then you said that you texted her that no, no, John, I was telling oh, John. John. Okay. Yeah. You know, didn't, wasn't sure. So she, you know, sent me a voice message and gave me a little bit of advice, but she said, maybe I should reach out to her and say, Hey, you know, how are you? you know, but it's just like when somebody says they're going to be in touch with me and they're not now I'm like in between a rock and a hard place because you said you were going to be in touch with me on Sunday when you got back. I, you didn't, so I don't want to look desperate either, but yet, you know, I saw her active so much on WhatsApp during her time away. You couldn't take, to me, it's always like five, like you say, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Hey, you know, just got home Sunday, you know, had a busy weekend, but I saw you on all these other times. So again, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard to me, read. What, what did Jana, what advice does Jana give you? She said I should message her and say, like, hey, beautiful or something like that. You know, how are you? Know, how are you? you know, whatever. But, you know, I might. Not, I, I don't know, because it's just like, again, I'm between that rock and hard place. Like, I feel she said she was going to be in touch with me. It, it's like a game. You know, you said you're going to be in touch with me. I seen you active on WhatsApp for three days, but you didn't take the time to send me a message. So I'm supposed to in my mind. Are you really interested or are you just busy doing something else? Like, I don't know. Can give you any other advice? Uh, about the cats, she said uh, it maybe wouldn't be a deal breaker if the relationship was good. Maybe she wouldn't want the cats. I don't know. But I'm not, I love my dog. I'm not going to leave, I'm not going to get rid of my dog for a woman, you know? So I don't know if somebody has a connection with the cats, you know, they might say, hey, listen that's my family my dog is my family right now so i'm not gonna get rid of my dog if, if a woman said i hate dogs that would be a deal breaker for me because i love my dog i would never get rid of her so yeah i don't know yeah i i hear you i hear you i guess we'll talk about this first yeah then go back to Irina. um i i understand your position completely um so I think it's just so early in the start. The relationship hasn't even started yet. You know, you're yeah. at the you're at the starting point. So I think it's super important to important to be chilled. I know based on your past, it's um maybe a little bit difficult not to read into things or lack of communication. But just imagine you're at the starting point. It hasn't even started yet. Yeah. Well, that's why I haven't did anything. I, I'm just waiting. Yeah, I think it's good you didn't message her back again, right? And again, um, as I always advise Billy, I would really minimize this chat and just say, hey, uh, how does your week look? I'd like to set up a video date with you. Yeah. And set a day and time, you know, in the future, this week. You know, maybe it's maybe it's not until the weekend. Um, and then just really minimize the the chat. Minimize the chat, and you've got that date set. You know, because she was busy this last weekend. Again, if if it, if there's too much of that interaction, I don't. 
it, it's really easy to come off needy. And especially if you're, if you're messaging several times and waiting for her to message, I wouldn't do that. I would like one message, wait for a message, then a message back. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's what I've been kind of did. I, I wished yeah. her a wonderful but, weekend and she said she was going to be in touch with me on Sunday and she just hasn't been. So, yeah. so now it's me again, reaching out. Like, you know what I mean? Like she said she was going to be in touch with me, but now I have to reach out and then I just, no, no, don't, don't, you know? Yeah. yeah that's, don't. What I, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. So, yeah. So are you reaching out with her more than once for her once? No, no. Okay, good. Keep it one no. to one. Yeah, it was just one to one. However she, long it takes. However long it takes, keep it one to one. When yeah. she had sent me that message on uh Friday saying that she, you know, she was yeah. gonna be in touch with me on Sunday. So to me, as a human being, be in touch with me on Sunday. And if, if Sunday didn't work, um Monday was fine, but now Monday's coming gone. <laughs> so you're reading too much into it. Reading too much into it. Just chill. Chill. It's the beginning. Don't get yeah. Well, no, no, but that's what I'm saying. John, John is saying to reach out to her, but I don't feel like I should. Uh, no, don't reach out. Um, if she said she would reach out next, don't reach yep. out. I watched your your full um first date intro call with her and yeah. really light on the compliments. You complimented her at the very, very end, a light compliment. And so try to compliment more. It's great. Hi, beautiful. How are you today? It's great. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, just try to build in as many compliments. Every second communication being a compliment doesn't hurt. As long as it's yeah. not too thick, not too thick. But... I'm just a little reserved right now still. I'm still coming out of uh, everything with, yep. you know, arena. So I'm kind of like, I'm I'm getting on the horse, but yet I'm still reserved because of, you know, the, the crap that I went through. Yeah, well, it's uh, uh, it's important you don't take that forward, right? You don't take yeah, that. I'm trying not to. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm that. trying not to. That. Um, and the other advice John gave was what was it you said? It was also the good cats just just don't oh, worry the about the cats right Let's now. Yeah, don't worry about the cats. I'm also super uh, allergic to cats, dogs, horses, giraffes, elephants. I mean <laughs> animals in in general. It, it and it's bad for me because it triggers my asthma. So yeah, I, me too. Yeah, I, me too. Okay, so I have first hand experience with this. You don't bring it up at all at all here's the thing billy just like you said something that's not exactly true for yourself you said i'm not giving up my dog for a woman but i promise you if you're in love with that woman and that woman's going to be your wife in your future and she it's like a choice between the dog and her because she's super allergic to dogs i think you'd give up the woman i would hope I you'd know. give up i mean i don't know that'd dog, be tough. <laughs> dog. well, my dog's very loyal dogs are loyal yeah. to to the teeth <laughs> Yeah, but I'm just saying, if a man won't give up a dog for his woman, he doesn't love the woman. That's all. Yeah. So, so back to the point. I learned from firsthand experience. Yeah, don't talk about the cat allergy because right now, if she had to choose, if you bring that up, yeah, it can absolutely be a deal breaker. Well, he's allergic to cats. Let's not even. Yeah. You know, like, but it becomes a moot point after. Plus, she's going to be moving to you, and I don't think she'll be bringing the cats with her. You know. Yeah. Um, and, and and again, besides, once there's close, tight feelings, you guys have been together, you know, and love is is there, the cats yeah. are not going to be an issue. And if they are an issue, it's a big red flag. Yeah. Yeah, because if she well, won't give her cat, up her cats for you, run, Forrest, okay. run. Yeah. No, I'm just going to sit, like I said, I'm just going to wait because yeah. right now it's just mainly the communication portion of it, of her You're saying okay. she's going to be in touch my, with my, my advice, Billy, would be to wait today's, uh, what, Monday? Wait till like Wednesday, Wednesday, yeah. evening, like Wednesday, your evening, and then write her, um, hi, I know you're probably really busy again. And rather than putting pressure, take the pressure off, you know? Yeah. So, hi, I know you're probably really busy. Just wanted to see how are you doing? Hi, beautiful. You know, it's a good one. I know you're really busy. Um, just wanted to uh, see how you're doing and see if we can set up when would be a good day and time to have another uh, video date yeah question mark and then just leave it but i'd I'd wait a couple more days if you don't hear from her by then yeah but really just try to stick to the video dates especially at the start here you're not really aware of it because you've never experienced slavic culture but slavs don't text 
They just don't do it. It's not a text culture. We're yeah, a right. text culture. I hate it personally. <laughs> I, I even have family members that are texting. Yeah. Me. They just call me. Just, just, just save up your texts and call me when you got time, you know? But yeah, they, they don't text and they don't email. Yeah. So, well, it's a little hard though when you're in the distance. If you don't, if she doesn't text, I, <laughs> I'm in the dark, you know? It's not like I can just but, take a ride down the street. So this is a good segue actually, because the reason for the misunderstanding um, about Irina, about my advice for you about owning and not owning a flat and how that creates um, a lack of um, safety and security, that is because 